Top 10 Greatest Magic Tricks Revealed Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet another exciting video. Remember the first time you watched a magic show? Everything about it was mesmerizing and you were like, how do they do that? And ever since, you've probably been disturbed trying to find the answers. Well, today is your lucky day because we're going to reveal to you how magicians do their tricks. Maybe after this, you could start a magic show too, or fool some friends. Here are the top 10 greatest magic tricks revealed. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on this. Number 10. Levitation Most of you have seen magicians defy gravity by standing or sitting in the air, and have been wondering how they managed to pull that one off. Here's the trick. If keen enough, you may have noticed that there's always a rag or cloth on the floor where the magician is levitating. If the magician happens to appear sitting on air, chances are they're being supported by something. They have a DIY stick that's attached from the ground passing through the arm to the body down to where the person's sitting. This makes them seem like they're floating. And for the ones who levitate while standing, the trick is deception. In both tricks, the magician connects something from the ground. The magician steps on it, then removes one foot from their shoe. The shoe and pants are always held together, and the pants are ripped to allow easy removal of a leg. As they slowly raise the feet, the other pant leg also raises, giving the impression that they're floating on air. Some also speculate that magicians are using magnets. As we've explained to you how levitation works, we're still wondering how Dynamo managed to do this at the Statue of Jesus. Well, unfortunately, only Dynamo can know that. At number 9 is a card trick that just seems too well played out. Luckily, today you'll find out how. Number 9. Card Through the Window One trick about all magicians is hypnotizing their audience. If you've watched all our videos, then you probably remember about inattentional blindness in our video on 10 weird things about your body. If you haven't watched, then go watch after this. Many magicians use this fact to their advantage. Inattentional blindness is when you're too focused on something that you don't see another thing happening in your surroundings. So the question is, how do they use this? When a magician tells his accomplice to pick a card, first of all, they're sure of the card that will be picked, thus they have a duplicate of the card. Second is that they slightly cut one card which they'll keep just after the card you choose. This helps to create a space between the cards where they'll stop for you to choose the exact card. After that is when they use inattentional blindness to distract you to look at the cards as another accomplice sticks the card on the window. The magician then throws the card at the same spot where the sticking card is, and as you see, it's not that hard. If this is how the card through the window trick is done, then does this mean that the signed card trick is done the same way? Continue watching to find out. Number 8. The Signed Card Trick one thing that I'm learning about being a magician is that you need to be very fast. I mean, how else are you going to trick people? For instance, this trick needs a fast-fingered trickster. The concept needs the magician to substitute a signed card with a card they're hiding in their pocket. As crazy as that sounds, all it takes is a smooth operator. When a magician asks someone to pick a card and sign it, they have a card hidden in their pocket or sleeve. They tear the one that they have on their sleeve into four pieces, then substitute it with the signed one to make it look like it's perfectly safe. Before we continue, like this video and hit the subscribe button if you don't want to wake up from your sleep and find sacred Rihanna watching you as you sleep. Number 7. The Guillotine Trick Magicians love to entertain their audience by leaving them speechless or sometimes even terrified. Imagine being hacked by a guillotine and facing death. I don't know about you, but that thought gives me goosebumps. Though it may look like the head of the person is chopped off, that's never actually the case. When the guillotine is being built, they make sure to keep secret compartments on the lower part for easier movement. Apart from that, below the blade, there's tiny blocks that stop the blade from reaching the person's neck. When the blade falls, the secret trap door allows the person's head to drop out of sight. The rest of the body usually goes to the secret compartments, and what remains is the other set of clothes glued to the guillotine, which creates the illusion of a body. That's how a person ends up unharmed. Trick or no trick, I'll never volunteer to be in the guillotine. I mean, what if something goes wrong? How about you? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Number 6. Coffee Turned Into Money Imagine if a magician could really turn coffee into money. How amazing would that be? Bakers on the streets would be history. But this is just a wish. And what do we know about wishes? They're just wishes. So how do they manage to pull this one off? 
Well, there's two cups. One's three quarters or half a cup, while the upper cup is a normal full cup. Inside the full cup with coffee is the small cup filled with coins. At the bottom of the cup is a sponge and a hole that can fit a finger, which they use to pull the cup with coins upwards. It then reveals the coins as the sponge sucks up the coffee. And just a reminder that if you haven't subscribed yet, do so to keep up with all the good stuff. Up next is something super crazy that seems like a script from a grand movie. Number 5. The Statue of Liberty Disappears This trick got to me. I used to think that they used a green screen, but they actually fooled us with science. The two hardly mix, but this is one amazing trick that incorporates both, and it's actually very simple. The statue was hidden by a giant piece of fabric that was put in front of the audience. The lights of the statue were then turned off except for the spotlights. Doing this created an illusion of a hollow space, and the spotlight was intentionally kept to blind the vision of the audience, thus, when the fabric was removed, they were unable to see the statue. It revealed that the statue was no more. Crazy how the power of illusion can do this, right? Speaking of illusions, what if everything we're looking at isn't real, but a giant piece of cloth? At number 4 is an easy trick that even a 5-year-old can do. Number 4. Dollar Bill Change Magic Trick When you master the secret of folding dollars, then nothing can stop you from bragging to your friends and family that you're a magician. This is how you do it. Turning one dollar into a hundred requires you to have both dollars with you. The one hundred dollars is folded in a special way so that no one sees it. Then carefully unfold it as you substitute the one with a one hundred dollar bill. See? Told you it was that easy. In the real world, it would be pretty cool to turn those $1 bills into 100 without having to work hours for minimum wage. By now, I know I'd be traveling across the world with my free money. What would you do with it? Let us know. And starting our top three is something quite familiar in Bible stories, walking on water. Number three, walking on water trick. Before we knew magicians could walk on water, the first and last person to do so was Jesus from the Bible. So after all those years when we saw magicians like Dynamo and Chris Angel walk on water, it was so fascinating that people wanted to know, how did he do that? Some Christians even started speculating that Jesus had returned. It was to their disappointment that everything was just a trick. So how did they manage to pull this one out? Especially when it comes to Dynamo's walk on water? Till today, no one's been able to uncover this mastermind trick. One thing we know is that humans cannot walk on water because we're very heavy, and in addition to the force of gravity, the weight overcomes the surface tension of water and causes us to sink. This is why they use plexiglass or just something similar to that, which they keep in the water. As it's very clear, no one can suspect that you put something in the water. If it was plexiglass in Dynamo's case, how did he manage to set them up in a river with so many tides? Could he be a real-life sorcerer? And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. The Cut in Half Trick This trick is an old classic that almost all magicians have performed. I'm sure most of you have already figured this one out. I mean, you didn't think they'd actually slice the person in half and remain alive despite their guts being left out in the open, did you? I didn't think so. This is all about the right setup. While some people may use mannequin legs, others use two assistants. Just like the guillotine, the box is made with some extra space where one woman whose head can be seen positions herself well in the box, and the other woman also positions herself in a way that only her legs can be seen. It then appears that one person's lying in the box and is about to be cut in half. Well, we can all agree that it's not amusing anymore when you find out the truth. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 1. Sword Swallowing Trick The sword swallowing trick is one of the most dangerous tricks and if you're not well trained, it can actually result in tragedy and possible loss of life. So how do these magicians do it? 
Well, this trick requires physical and psychological training, and sometimes may take a very long time to master the steps. It requires the sword swallower to suppress the gag reflex and retch reflex. The blade has to pass behind the voice box, past the larynx, down the esophagus. It then goes through the diaphragm, past the liver, and to the duodenum. As I said, it's not as easy as you would think. You have to use up to 50 pairs of muscles in the throat, something that's very hard. Therefore, we would like to congratulate all the magicians who can manage to do this. But with that said, that marks the end of this video. Can't wait to try out a trick or two, apart from number one, of course. Which trick was your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below.